Hey you guys, it's Bill from BillOnTheRoad.com, inviting you to come along for the ride as I take my very first road trip across Oregon. It doesn't take long to realize that this is a very special place. Here in Oregon, the crashing waves along the coast are just as majestic as the secluded evergreen woods. The small towns are welcoming and life is mostly laid back. Nature's best gifts aren't really all that elusive in this part of the country. In nearly every direction, you can find something that you can't look away from. Stunning waterfalls and dazzling wildflowers are just the beginning. The weather will sooner or later remind you that it's time for a new set of windshield wipers. Through the rain and shine, it was an incredible 10-day journey, and I'm happy to share just a taste of the moments, the memories, and the magic of my road trip through Oregon. Traveling along Highway 101, it's nearly impossible to just keep on driving. There are parks, trails, bluffs, and scenic overlooks that can change a trip from one hour to ten. On this stretch of my visit, no pullover was regrettable. For starters, in Brookings you'll find the 12-mile Samuel Boardman Scenic Corridor with its enchanting forests and nature trails. Many of the beaches along Oregon's coast are decorated with picturesque rock formations, many of which have their own name. This is one of the most scenic stops along Highway 101. This gigantic rock here appears to look like the head of a whale, hence the name Whale's Head Beach. All right, so we took a quick hike down to Simpson Beach. Uh, which you can find right on the uh, 101. And uh, this place is known for having the biggest waves of any beach. <laughs> along, along the Pacific coast. I got a little scared there. The Pacific Ocean is notorious for punishing the Pacific Northwest with strong waves, and along with the fog and wind, can make it deadly for boats and ships. Lighthouses have played an important role in safely guiding vessels along the coast, and some of them are still used today. There are 11 lighthouses along the Oregon coast. Seven of those are open for tours and accessible to the public. One of the most photographed lighthouses in the country is located in Lane County on Highway 101. The Hecta Head Lighthouse has been operating for more than a century and was restored back in 2013. There's a parking lot nearby and a half mile hike up the hill for a closer look or to take a tour. And though the coastal views are certainly worthy of a road trip to Oregon, about 200 miles northeast of Florence is where you'll find one of the most beautiful places in the entire state. In fact, Oregon's Columbia River Gorge is one of the most gorgeous places in all of America. Running 80 miles long and up to 4,000 feet deep, the River Canyon is a treasure trove of breathtaking views and bucket list hikes and experiences. It's the largest national scenic area in the country. Of the more than 200 waterfalls here in Oregon, many of them can be found right here. The river itself is situated between Oregon and Washington, with lots of welcoming small towns on both sides. Here you can choose your own adventure, with plenty of dazzling waterfalls just steps away from a roadside parking lot or short trail. One of the most popular waterfalls in the world, and certainly one of the most photographed, is Multnomah Falls, 
with its iconic bridge that perfectly rests in front of the famous 620-foot high waterfall. If that's not enough, the historic Columbia River Highway leads you to plenty of waterfalls, literally off to the side of the road. But many of Oregon's best waterfalls are hidden among the trees and mountains. You could consider them a prize for your hike in the woods, and the payoffs are pretty amazing. This is Dry Creek Falls, located about four miles in from a trailhead in the town of Cascade Locks. And while the River Gorge area is top of mind, waterfalls can be found all over the state of Oregon. About 90 minutes southwest is one of my favorites. South Falls is located within Silver Falls State Park. And while it only drops 177 feet, the views are dramatic and up close. You can even walk along a trail directly behind it. But waterfalls aren't the only reason to take a hike in Oregon. In no time at all, you can find yourself secluded in a peaceful forest, with many trails leading you to think you've found a magical place you thought only existed in fairy tales. On the coast, you'll find trails that pay off with thrilling views of the Pacific Ocean and Oregon's beautiful beaches. And about 90 minutes east of Portland, you'll find Mount Hood National Forest, filled with trails where if you time your visit just right, you'll have the chance to experience one of the most amazing wildflower hikes you'll find on the West Coast. Back along the coast, the Oregon Dune National Recreational Area is a sight to behold. With over 31,000 acres of temperate coastal sand dunes and opportunities to walk or ride on the wild side. All right, so I'm here with Mike. Mike, say hi. Yeah, hey, what's up? All right, we're going for a ride. Where exactly are we, Mike? We are in the Oregon Dune National Recreation Area. All right, and you're not gonna flip me over or anything, right? Not today, I don't wanna flip today. <laughs> All right, here we go. Where, where is the weirdest spot you found sand after doing one of these? Oh, man. Uh, yeah, it's in the spot that, you, that you're thinking of for sure. And it's how do you know what I'm thinking? Because it's there. There is right. nowhere right. it's not we'll there. Just... Just like in most of America, it's often the small communities or college towns that remind you that this is still a pretty great place to call home. All throughout Oregon, you'll find these welcoming places that offer a perfect home base to explore, a laid back spot to rest, or a fun stop along the way to explore or grab a bite to eat. Once in a while, you'll find a surprise along the way who knew that Oregon's Springfield was the true hometown of The Simpsons? The creator of the longtime series Matt Groening grew up in nearby Portland. Or Brownsville, Oregon, filming location of the 1980s classic Stand By Me. Coos Bay is a central hub for exploring Oregon's coast and the many hiking trails and parks nearby. Eugene is a fun college town with plenty of local attractions like the Fifth Street Public Market. Silverton has a lively walkable downtown and is home to the Oregon Garden. The 80-acre botanical garden has walking trails and a resort. You can also take a tour of Frank Lloyd Wright's Gordon House. 
There are lots of inviting small towns in the Columbia River Gorge as well. One of my favorites was Cascade Locks. The iconic Bridge of the Gods can't be missed, and the area's hiking and biking trails draw visitors from all over the world to see waterfalls and scenic views. Right from the very start of my visit, I knew a road trip through Oregon would be an experience I'd never forget. There's so much beauty here and so many places to take a breath and find some peace. When it comes to an all-American road trip, there's no place quite like Oregon. Oregon.